Here we go. Let's see what we got here. A little sunfish. A little bluegill. Nice. Okay, so you're watching M Hood Fishing, and I'm in City Park at the end of a lagoon. This is pretty much where it drains, as you hear the water draining. So that's Robert E. Lee, and that's Orleans Canal. That bridge goes over the canal. So I'm just here to see what I can catch. Water's a little shallow right here, so I'm catching them about over by that tree, somewhere near, near about it. Might try in front of that hyacinth there. There's always some kind of fish here. Nice. Ooh, a little fight. Looks like the one I just put back. A little different. Maybe just a hair bigger. Go home. Tonight is uh, Christmas Eve. Wow, yeah. Huh. This little guy, but that's what I need. Need to just sit here and catch a bunch of little fish. A little tiny, little tiny one, huh? Go home. Still got a bit of worm on there. It's uh, about the middle of the day. 76 degrees is the high. That's a little further from the tree than I've been casting. Let's see how that does. It's kind of warm right now. Right, this is off the jig. Yeah. Nice, nice little gill. I'm using crappie nibblers. Now that this overcast has uh, come over us pretty thick, it's getting better. The acorns are coming down though, once in a while that stings. Yeah, let's get back at it. A little bigger than the last ones. Wonder what this is. Ooh, it's a nice fish, yeah. That's a catfish. Ooh, it's a cat, yeah. It's a big bullhead. Look at the size of this bull. Yeah, you lay that baby down with some garlic pot and butter, you want something. Yeah, then give it to the dogs. Oh no, you don't eat that? Not, they're okay. At a certain time of the year, these are okay. They get muddy? Yeah, they're pretty muddy. But right now, with this cold water. It's a big black bullhead. I'm not keeping uh, fish today, unless I catch a, a red fish or something. Yeah. Not here, but later on I'm going to go somewhere. Well, i got to get the tool out and get him out. Right in the corner of the mouth on a size 4 Aberdeen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Little tiny panfish hook. It was kind of a fun fight. Well, I was going to say, that makes it fun, that light, light line, yeah. light tackle. Sometimes, I don't know how long you've been fishing in this area, but... All right, go home. I plan on being here for a while longer, till at least 2 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and target the bullheads as well as other things. I've got a size 
three or four kale, I'm not sure, but a small kale hook on 12 pound test. And I'm using an ounce of weight and I just tied up a simple rig here. I don't know if you could see this. Just basically made a loop and tied a knot here with the loop, with the, uh, the weight on the loop. Simple rig, easy peasy. And I'm gonna use hot dogs. I'm just gonna cut wedges like that. I'm gonna put a, like maybe two wedges on. Really simple. Lots of people do it differently. I just do it like this. I'm not going to cast this really far or really hard. When I'm bullhead fishing, I don't have to get too pacific. If they're feeding, they're going to hit hard. The hot dogs is a I'm not going to put this out here too far, just something like that. Hot dogs is a really good bait for these little guys. There are other catfish here too, there are channels and blues. But it's fun to catch these uh, smaller cats, these bullheads, and the bullheads in here get fairly good size too, they're big. I'm also going to put out another rod for uh, cats. This one is going to have Nightcrawler on it. It's a size 4 kale. I'm just drop shotting this. I might put a, another one on. Another night crawler. It's awesome. I just had a fish shoot up in this house and I mean he hit me fast and hard. and ran me up in there. Catch that sucker again. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, Dink. This is a good spot for Dinks. Lots of places in the in City Park are good for Dinks. There's a lot of Dinks in, in the park. Look at these two patches of uh, hyacinth in the water. The wind is blowing pretty good right now and it's going to put it right right over where I was just fishing. And uh, the bite has died down anyway. I think the fish was uh, the fishing was good over there because the wind was pushing all this bait, but now it's going to push all this hyacinth. So I'm going to push on out. It's a fun little spot worth trying out sometime. See you next time.